Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio here. And this is our Let's Learn series. And what are we going to do? Well, there's this base down here that we need to take care of. So there's that. So what I've done is I'm stuck down here for some reason. So I need to pick up some more stone for some tracks. And we're actually going to build this rail line here into here. Because I need to kind of work on that so we can start harvesting that resource way up there. And yeah, so let's get on that. Thank you everybody for watching this series. Uh, hopefully it's been an interesting series to watch. I know I'm working my hardest to try and give you some decent content and some decent kind of you know, things like looking at things. This is the bullets. Laser turrets. How about regular turrets? Hmm. I got lots of these guys. Let's upgrade the regular turrets here. Or let's do robots. Hey, combat robots. Extractor capsules. What can I make for robots at the moment here? Let's take a look. So I can make defender, slowdown, or poison capsules. Hmm. Okay, so if I can do those, so then research-wise, we want to do potentially more. Well, let's research tanks. Or this is military four. Let's do military four for the piercing shotgun shells, since that would be the next major upgrade to get rid of these shotgun shells and to upgrade them. Uh, I think there's a new combat shotgun here and I can make so I need 10 wood for that oh and that's well woods easy there's either going to be some wood oh and there's some extra shotgun shells here so let's grab those got a bunch of grenades here so let's grab those as well oh we got a couple hundred in there never mind oh but what's in this box it's looking at some old stuff okay we need stone I almost passed by that the stone we can grab from is right here. And I can use this to make tons and tons of tracks. Because these tracks here I don't think is going to be enough. So let me start making more tracks here. Oh wow, only 50? What the heck? Is it yolks? It's using my steel. If you look there. So let's go grab some steel. If you notice any kind of little shadows moving, we can get some fish there. And let's see here, this episode might be a tad shorter, I don't know, but that's okay. Do we have any wood in here? No, we don't actually. Wow, I'm surprised. Okay, well, with that in mind, I can always chop some trees down, so that's not a big deal. Probably just need a couple. Uh, so let's see here. Where's that combat shotgun? There we go, combat shotgun. Bang! Let's make that. And once we got that, we can replace this shotgun. Let's go back to our storage containers here. See, everything's all backed up here. I think even crude. Well, let's turn this back on here. That's oil processing. So, water and crude oil. Oh, so if we put water into it, it's better? Huh. I'll have to look at that. Okay, so anyways, uh, where's the box here? This is the box. Let's put our old shotgun away here, and let's put our new combat shotgun. Woo! Let's see what this guy looks like. Ah, well, well, of course we'll have to find some creatures to kill. Uh, what else do we have going on here? I also have these accumulators going off here. So let's grab some accumulators. We got some of these efficiency modules. Let's grab some more of those. Those are kind of like our, I don't know what I want to say. They're, they're, they're kind of like, so see the steel production is low. And up here, this is like our ammo production. Yeah, down there again, it's being shot at. And here we got red circuit production, but that's slow. 
Okay, well, military force progressing, so that's okay. Okay, let's go check this out. I think I do have... Can I make those goggles? No, I can't. Okay, I want to make that flamethrower stuff too. I've never seen anyone use it, so I would like to definitely try it. Now these, I don't know why they're not functioning like they should be. So I want to make storage tanks at some point. So I want to build those tracks. So let's place down here. So we're here, I kind of have the accumulators and these. And I'm, I'm not sure how these accumulators work too much. So I'm just going to place what I have and we'll go from there. Uh, can I make substations? No, I can't make substations. Substations would be very useful right now because they can power a larger area. But this is okay as well. One, and then we can put this guy right here. I think like that. And put a light right in here like that. I think like this. Perfect. And we'll make it probably another, you know, like a 3x3 three three grid probably. So let's do that. Let's put another one there. Okay, and let's carry on with the grid. Oh, resume. Place one. We'll place like one there, one there, one there. Oh. So right now these guys are charging, I think. Okay, uh, let's do the same thing again. We'll just repeat the pattern to pattern of four. Okay, and then we can put that one there. We can put this one right in here. And let's put one more here. Okay, and then we carry on. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And then one, two, three, and then here we go. And we put another one to power those. And even down here, even if it does hook in, that is fine and dandy. Okay, let's do that. And I think that about covers these ones. Right there. Yeah, right there. Excellent. Now let's build on to these guys. So let's see what the accumulator status is at. So that's how much we have for accumulators. And so as you can see, you can see the the production switching from these to these. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's start placing these now. So basically these are the the solar panels and this should contribute to our grid and that's about it now let's place these guys I think these go about in the middle so it'll be probably about like that yeah just like this and I think we can put lights even on these guys do that okay and then let's put some lights down let's build some more lights because obviously we need them Four, five. It looks like any more steel as well. Wow. Uh, where we want to put these lights? Let's put them on the inside. And every two. Just like this. Perfect. Now let's build this. Let's run down this way. And there's even a copper deposit here. So let's let's build this track and I'll kind of tell you about my plan for the rail system here. So basically the rail system is a pain in the ass to build. That's the one thing. If you kind of look at how, see if you go and build it here, it's, it's not going to connect. 
So it's like it's like half a block it seems the rail line. So when we go diagonal, you have to kind of go careful. You can't just r hold right click cuz watch. Well, you kind of can, but then how do you walk, right? See, it, then it goes crappy like that. Yeah, okay. So anyways, we don't want to do that. Let's just do it slow and easy, take your time. Looks like no biter attacks, so that's pretty good. Well, because I know during the day the pollution should decrease from everything. And then, oh, look at that, there's a big base there. That will attack too. Crap. Ah, uh, we need to do some extermination runs here. So I'm going to have to use my wonderful equipment here. Maybe use up the old bullets. So let's let's just build this line and see what happens. Um, I want to go. Oh, there's another base that just kind of popped up. Let's see how big they are. Looks like a bunch of worms and stuff. Are these like the the medium worms? Oh, there's some big worms too. Crap. So I'm not sure how we'll take those out. We'll probably just have to bring power down. Use our, our laser turrets here. So let's see if we can do that. Let's bring some power down. Okay. Let's place that. Now we can place them further. Just like that. And need more steel, I think. Okay. Okay, keep going. Getting awfully close to them. Okay, I think this is as close as I can get. So now, do I have any of these guys, the other poles? I don't see them. So we'll use these little guys. They did do the trick before, so why would that change, right? Okay, and uh, let's just basically carry it down. And uh, let's just do a pattern here. Okay, whoa, whoa. Don't destroy that, buddy. Okay, and let's put this guy down like that. Okay, let's repair that. Uh, okay. Oh, shit, 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 shit! So I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'm going to re repeat all that stuff and I will bring it right back to where we were. I think I should have the autosave set. Silly me. Uh, 30 minutes should be good. Well, it, didn't, it wouldn't matter anyways then. I didn't play for 30 minutes. So yeah, so I'll be right back when I'm at that point. Okay, I'm back here, so I'm not going to take that base out this time. We will take that out, but unfortunately, just I wasn't paying attention, got careless, and ran into where the big worms are. And unfortunately, those guys at my level can kick my ass. I should have waited, you know, advanced the turrets, and kind of done the more safer route that way. I was trying to use more of the, the weapons and stuff that I have, right? Because what's the point of weapons if you're going to use turrets? <laughs> So yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm carrying on with the railway here, just cutting through and bringing it down diagonally into the base here. I think I got some doors set up for the train already, but we'll make sure once we get to the base walls here, and I think we're almost there. Let's see, okay, it looks like, oh, this tree's in my way. Okay. okay, man, this range of placing items sucks a little bit, but I understand why they did it. it makes sense to me. 
kind of a way of like a game mechanic thing. Okay, and oh, I see the wall. I see the door. Let's see how far down we can go here. So I think that door, where that door is, is the point of entry. So let's see here. I want to be. I think like. Yeah, it's probably like that. Let's pick this up. And then let's place some walls down. Okay, and then I, th I think we can do this. Okay, and then this should be able to go inside. Yes, I think that's perfect. Okay, and the trains, let's zoom out here a bit. They're gonna come rolling in. So let's, let's lay this track. Okay, that's in the way. Okay, that's in the way. It's probably a way of placing. Okay, chop some more trees down. So the trains are gonna come in. I think they're gonna unload in this area here because once this copper mine disappears, we'll have plenty of room. Oh, uh, there's turrets everywhere being used. That's crazy. I, I can't let that distract me. Let's carry on with this train build because that's the whole point. Uh, let's build some stations. I think I need to build another. Do I have... I don't have a train stop up there. So let's build two train stops. One, two. And then maybe some signals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need to make engine units actually. So let's get uh, distracted. I think this is out. No, still 325. I think yeah, these guys have efficiency modules in them. Okay, yeah, so if they return on, then they don't use much power. Let's see here, let's take a look at the power. Yeah, this is slowly going down, but the accumulators aren't kicking in. I don't know why. I don't know how to get them to kick in. <clears throat> Unless that has something to do with just how the power is done. I don't know. I'll have to keep an eye on that. These tanks. So this is filling up. Uh, crude. Kind of, sort of. Let's get it fracking again. We'll have to tie in water maybe into it sometime. That's okay. Let's see up here. Okay. How are these going? These modules here. We got eight of those. I think we're out of the special stuff. And so these will stop being produced, I think. Let's take a look here. I think these needs the processing units. So soon we'll have extra red guys here for to continue the research. I think that's why military is so slow. These more of these advanced guys. Um, so what do I want to build? I want to build engines. So let's see here. They're being attacked over there. Probably from up there. Okay, so engines. How do we build engines? Let's take a look here. Yeah, and I didn't time this episode, so when I feel I'm done, it's going to be done. I should have, but whatever. Okay, so. Engines, engines. I want to make engines so I can make a train. And in order to make engine... Okay, assembler will do it. Steel, p plate, iron gear wheel, and pipes. So, we got pipes right here. Oh well, I don't think that's going to work. Can I bring down steel from up here? Not really, can I? Not, not. Can I do it here? Maybe if I extend this belt, 
further. Yeah, maybe the belt would... So if I pick this belt up... Okay, we can do that. Let's see here, let's pick this belt up. Where's this guy? Okay. Pick that up, pick that up. Okay. Now, so we need steel plates, iron gear wheels, and pipes. Steel plates. So if you cut into the plates here, I think we can do this. I think we can do that. Okay. And so basically we're going to cut into the steel right here. And then we'll have to bring this down. Like this. Okay. So I think I'm going to bring some of this steel over actually. So I'm going to cut it into here. Just like this. And we'll make the engine parts probably right about here. So let's build an assembler. Let's see, one, two, maybe just a couple. Okay, so we're gonna need to make so we need steel plate, iron gears, and pipes. So steel plates. Which is coming down here. So let's bring it down. Steel plates go down underneath like that. Okay, so obviously we need to start up some sort of production. So we need to make pipes and iron gears. No problem. So if we build the pipes and the iron gears, and we'll put that on the same kind of line. So we need one more of those probably. Okay, so. bring this belt let's bring it straight across okay I think that's the good height so then if we place this guy like this this guy like that okay and then we need I think gears let's see here Or are we engines, engines, so we need gears and pipes. So this one can make pipes, I think. And this one can make gears. Where are we here, gears. Okay. And so if we lay this out like this, I think we can bring it in this way. Let's put some power in here. Okay, so this will make gears, this will make pipes. Then we need to bring it over across this way so that we can feed it into actually. Why don't we do that? Let's see here. Let's see how the pipes look. Okay, okay, okay. So then do that and then if we do this so that will double up okay fine and dandy maybe we'll do the same thing with the gears well maybe we don't have to with the gears because gears will go on the outside right so if we go like this outside they'll go on the outside 
So maybe we can combine them in. So if we do something like this, something like that. Okay, so now the gear is on the left side. And then we'll bring this like this, I think. I think just like that. And that will put it into the one. And then we want to bring it down and around. Up like this. And then we're going to build the engine pieces, I think, just like this. And then this guy goes like that. We want to pick engine units. Okay. And then we want to, of course, change the power there. And let's see here. I want to do that. So the steel will go this way uh, underneath, I think, just briefly to here. And I think that should work. Yeah, and it should take it. Okay. Now I think they're going to make engine units. So what are we going to do with these engine units? Well, let's just store them for now. So let's see here, where are we? We need a steel chest. Okay, perfect. And how many engine units do we want to make? Maybe just one. So how many engines now do we need? We need 15 engine units to build one train, which will take a while. So, But we got the resources here. We got it all ready. Let's see how many modules we have. Ten modules. Huh? Let's take that since that's all we can have. Now this was stop production, I think. Yeah, because it's queued up here and there's nothing in here. So I'm going to let those red guys build up a bit. Uh, if I want to do more production, I can always just bring those up top there. Okay, so it's now, that's two engines only. Erg. Okay, so let's go back to the rail down here. Let's kind of finish off where the, the train station is going to be, and we'll probably call it quits right there. So let's go back down this way. Okay. Let's start, let's finish this off. So I'm going to bring this over. I'm thinking that this line will be able to handle trains coming in and out on. Uh, we might double this up down the road. So let's see here. Uh, such a pain. Okay. So maybe let's put a big kind of circle thing here. Yeah, maybe we'll just start turning it this way. Okay, let's grab this guy. Okay, so let's chop this down. So I need to make a thing here. Kind of a loop around. Let's chop some more trees here. Okay, and then we got up here. up here, I think. Okay. Okay. These trees are in. There we go. And what this is, is it's kind of like a big loop-de-loop, right? Let's see here. Actually, you could probably make it go straight diagonal. Probably. And we're out of rails. Let's build some more rails here. So this is where the steel is definitely going to go. It's going to be used towards all this stuff here. 
Okay. There we go. Some more tracks being made. I'm gonna chop this up. Okay. Oh, there we go. And I think I'm just gonna make this single. This is single line because we're not gonna have bazillion trains on this. I don't think. Not yet, anyways, and we can always expand it. So, how far down do we need to go before we can hook it in? Let's chop this tree down. Right there. Okay, perfect. Let's do that. Perfect. So, this is our loop de loop. So, our train will come in, come around. Maybe we'll put the station right here for now. So that means we need to I think add a line right here because I want it to come in and around and then straight this way. So the stop will be where will it be? Yeah, it's probably good right about here. So we'll probably put the stop right there. And then we'll have to put in some signal lights, of course. Ah, okay. Kind of shows you where you want to put them. Like that. Let's make this one block. Could put it on the right hand side. And uh, maybe right there. So this is a block. Okay. And then if we combine these in here, maybe I want to finish the station before I call it. I call it quits. So let's see. You got that. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, let's see here. I can tie this in so that way. And there we go. So that, that's is the station. Now let's put in some more signals here so we know that we can block it. All right about here, perfect. Train will come in, probably go all around the loop. What is this? Oh, that track's not there. God, that stupid tree, hey? Okay, and this one. How about this? No, I don't need that. Okay, perfect. The train will come in. Uh, and we'll stop in right here. So can we... Let's go build the train and see if it works. We'll throw the wood in there as fuel. Maybe I'll create a system for us to, to throw the extra wood into the train systems, so that way they use that for fuel. I thought we need lubricant to make engines, but maybe those are the more advanced engines that need lubricant? Uh, the electric engine units, okay. So we need 15 engine units. How many do we got? 17, woo! Let's build a train, let's build a train. Oh, this is exciting, peoples. And we can build a car too, oh yeah, oh yeah. But I want to build a train, and I want to build two cargo wagons. Look at that, we got it. Now we need a car. We need six engine units. Produce engines. <laughs> okay. So, let's, let's drive to the other station. Let's create the other station there, and then that way we have our loop, and we'll finish off the rest of it in the next episode. Let's run down here. 
good thing we don't need to power these stations. So I'm going to go, I'm going to call this, is it Main Depot? Train stop Main Depot. Perfect. Okay, now let's put the train on. There, like that. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. Let's put the carts on. One, two, okay. And that's right. So we left click. How do we hop in? Okay. Um, let's look at the options here for controls. How do you hop into the train? Open objects, GUI, left mouse button. Yeah, I thought I'd been doing that. Well, unless we have to do this. Run the train. Oh, or you add. Run the train. There's no fuel. Uh, view locomotive. There we go. Okay. Two, three. Okay. So now if we go run the train and stop. Yay, okay, let's hop on. Uh, how do we hop into it? Whoa, I didn't want to do that. No. Oh. Okay, uh, that's not it. Did I just walk into it? No. Okay. I've never used a train. How do I do this? Controls. Enter. Oh, that's different. Because cause it's a vehicle. There we go. Now up to go faster. Oh, look at that train. That's just epic. Choo choo. Oh, that's so cool. I'm just pushing up. And so I want this station to be. Oh, I screwed that one up. Oh, shit. So if I back up, I think this way. No, uh, crap. Okay, what's going on? Let's see if I can back this. Uh, yeah, okay, I can. Okay, there we go. So basically here, the train will need to go to the right, around, oh, slow down, slow down, no, oh, uh, I think it's going to be towards the right, there we go, and then the train will stop. Okay, let's position the next pick up point here and then we'll call it an episode so we'll probably put it right here let's enter okay back it up okay and then we want to change this one of course run train oh why is it not stopping there you bugger let's go back a bit further Okay, well, let's just see how this train goes. So our train's gonna come down this way. Yeah, perfect. It's gonna come here. It's gonna stop for 30 seconds. Yeah. I guess we don't need to be that long here. Probably just 15, maybe just 15. And then the train's now gonna go to the next spot. <laughs> this is so cool. Now I don't have signals here, but the train should do the right thing. And then there we go. Perfect. Well, that's it. I'm going to carry on with 
replacing the extractors, powering this up, loading the train with it, and we'll go from there. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, as weird as it was. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.